So I'm gonna be processing some amaranth. These gloves are gloves that we just use for stuff like this. Food processing or harvesting medicine. So I'm not worrying, at this point in the process, I'm not really worrying about all the leaves and all that stuff. Um, when you're freshly harvesting it, that would be the time to take leaves off. Right now, I'm just trying to get the seeds off of the stem. It's gonna be a little bit of a mess. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up these flower stems here. Amaranth is a great crop to grow. It's a great animal feed. Um, it's really hard to process for human consumption. What I would need to do for that is uh, put it in a shallow bowl and clean it up really well so that there's not all this extra shaft in there and then blow on it. I'll try to demonstrate that for you guys. I'll try to clean up some of this stuff when I'm done and show y'all how to clean it up so that you can pop it. Cause then the next process would be to pop it. But it's so easy to grow and we like growing it for the greens. The greens are delicious before the flowers start to bud, before the plant starts to bud. The leaves are very delicious. And this stuff is great mulch. I'm gonna use this in the container garden outside. I love growing amaranth. It's such a productive plant. It's very drought tolerant. It can handle the dry summer. You can uh, plant it with some tomatoes. It does well with tomatoes. It does well with pretty much anything really. It's a great companion plant. Um, it grows really fast. It gives you a, a green that you can saute when um, there's no greens around, at least here in the Sonoran Desert. This plant is a plant you can plant after the first frost. You can plant it around March and uh, it'll flower in about four months. You can stagger the plantings and basically have greens, edible greens that are super delicious and nutritious all summer long. And this is a native seed search variety. If you're looking for seeds that will do well in the desert, I definitely recommend native seed search. They have an extensive selection. They also have seeds for folks in Northern Arizona that can handle the, the season up there, you know, the winter, the short season. So, A great resource and our primary goal with this these two bags of amaranth was to save the seed and have seed that we grew to give away and all that but it's very realistic to grow a bunch of amaranth that you can harvest for eating and it's a great grain when our babies were small we actually popped a bunch of amaranth that we grew and would make an oatmeal for them with the popped amaranth. They loved it. You know, get those healthy nutrients into your babies from your garden. I really like this plant. For small spaces or big spaces, this is a great plant. It would be a good um, 
cover crop. You can grow a batch for seed and then do it up on the cover crop. You'll have seeds forever. One plant can produce up to 100,000 seeds. So, and what we did is we kind of chopped up the flowers a little bit to make them more processable. So, this is only a couple plants right here. They need about a foot of space. I like planting them with tomatoes. They have a very deep tapered root. The tapered root of the amaranth will help aerate the soil as it decomposes. So it's a very good um, plant to have in a no-till garden setup because it's gonna add air pockets in the soil structure. Oh yeah, buddies. So now I'm gonna clean this up a little bit more. We can use the wind. If you're trying to eat it, this is what you would do. Just get it really nice and broken up and put it on a plate. And let the wind do its thing. 